Welcome to small lathe. This is the last part of this compound rest build and I think it's going to be interesting and without further ado let's get started. So we have two things we need to do basically speaking. One we have to turn the handle that actually turns and two we have to turn the base of the handle. So this is some stainless steel stock I took from a uh, toner and this is really nice this is six millimeter diameter and if we take a good look so if we take a good look at the tail stock handle which is a standard handle for the Uniman first of all you can see two things one somebody didn't turn it true because it's there's a lot more material missing over here than it's missing over here but regardless Welcome back. The lathe is now on center. We have a deviation of 0.01 millimeter over a length of 16 centimeters, so that's just fine by me. And now we need to continue with this. Now, before we do that, we need to know the maximal length that we need from this piece. So we're going to embed it in this hole, and it has to be we're, as you can see it's already too long and we're trimming this down so let's start with this piece trim it down get it down to size get nicely faced and then we can continue
I was pretty sure I'm talking to you guys. Apparently I'm talking to myself. So off camera I marked a spot where this we need to cut a groove. It's just over the blue tape. So I have some clearance. I've also marked the spot where we need to trim it because we don't need all that length. I'm going to cut this off camera and I'm going to show you how I'm going to trim this. So let's get to it. Right, let's assemble these.
Well guys, it's been a long journey. For me, it's been roughly five weeks. And there we have it. I did some modifications off camera, meaning adjusting the locking screw. Which will attach it to the lathe carriage. And we can expose that now. I also made this stop because apparently I did cut it a bit too long. I knew I cut it too long, but so for now there's a sleeve that holds this. I can actually open it. It's a plain sleeve screw and no ring. Nothing fancier. And it's just held by hand. No need for any special locking systems. The... Um, the handle is not so comfortable it's usable I'm not saying it's not usable but much like the tailstock I do prefer to turn it by hand and you don't need a lot of force it works pretty smoothly now it's not totally smooth we do have some ridges here it's not as you can see I tried to stone this but uh, I don't want to wear it off too much and already we have do have some play here so all in all it's not perfect but it's um, it's not bad I think it's uh, from a non CAD scratch idea from the stock itself basically speaking I think it's working I think it's uh, really really nice and I'm ple pretty pleased with that too I also made some 4x4 high-speed steel cutting tools for this we have uh, a sharper tool over here for uh, metals like stainless um, larger radius tool here for brass aluminum now basically these are all almost all of these except for this and others zero rake meaning there's nothing on top it didn't take any material on top so they're basically adjusted for brass now there is a little bit of a gap here I don't mind it for now a little bit of play here that's also all right I can trim it down if I will I also wanted to mention this was turned to an M4 threaded hole so there's an M4 threaded screw there M3 was too fidgety it didn't really lock properly and unlock properly it was kind of a mess so am I happy yeah sure and I think it's working quite nicely there's no problem in it uh, there are a few small issues but basically it's up and running so that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it's been fun I really enjoyed it I think it's a valuable tool that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed have a nice day